Hey, how's it going boys? What is up? Sora here. Today, we'll be talking about uh, what to aim to re-roll in Altelier Online. And I can't I can really pronounce the rest of the title, but yeah, you get the idea. So if you're planning to uh, start this game or whatever, whatnot, so you kind of be, want, you'll be wondering what should you be aiming for and stuff. So this is all based on my experience, okay? Like the stuff that I've been seeing so far in the game, we've been playing for quite a bit. So I may not be saying the, the best the best answer or something, you know, it could it could be subjective as time goes on kind of thing. But in this current point, from what I can tell, the things you should be uh, rolling is for weapons. Because char characters are nice and all, but it's not really a problem if you don't actually have them because you can, you know, stick with the story characters and the story characters allows you to fully upgrade them all the way to the, to the end. And yeah, because it's, apparently that's, that's how the game is. And besides that, because you can get quite a bit of rolls, if I recall correctly, because there's like a total of 25 rolls, I think, because you have like a 10 roll ticket and you have like few single rolls and then you also can get like the in-game currency, then you can just 10 roll right off the bat kind of thing. So you can uh, re-roll relatively nicely, I think, because the amount of stuff they give you at the beginning. But the problem is that um, there is another role that you may kind of want to aim for in a way because the the standard 10 roll which is also kind of meh in a way at the beginning is the 300 coins roll and there's also the other roll which is a 280 roll but I feel like that's kind of focused towards weapons and stuff but it's a lot better if you just try to do is go for everything and hope hope for the best right besides that I kind of want to emphasize a little bit if you don't really plan to reroll all that much and or maybe if you really did re-roll and then when you start to earn your gold coins or whatever to, to roll more in, when you're playing through the game my suggestion is to make sure you buy that 330 gold coins in the shop the shop is directly above the icon of the said uh the said gacha icon the, yeah you should go in there and uh right most tab there's this there's this list of like all these random tickets and stuff. Pick the one that costs 330 gold coins. Is there, it should be second from the top. Basically what that gives you is that it provides you extra like... Uh, it gives you a 10 roll ticket, um, extra single roll tickets. But those single rolls are 4 stars or 5 stars. And then it also gives you like those extra uh, set tickets that allows you to do the special quest which gives you insane EXP folders to your weapons, armor, helmets and all that stuff. Basically very very good all around but you can only buy that three times so keep that in mind. So it's a lot it's a lot better if you, you aim for all those three first when you're after like done re-rolling and stuff so yeah. Anyway the reason why uh, characters isn't really a thing because you can if you only manage to get like one uh, one one character or something, right? And say top tier character or whatnot, you will have that character stuck at level thirty at all times because it's only at three stars. The only way to uncap uh, a gacha character is by getting dupes of that character. So that means you can only get her, get the character by rolling more dupes in the gacha. If you can't, the character is stuck stuck there for good. That's what I can see right now. So if if you're planning to re-roll, it's a lot better for you to just aim for weapons or anything. And besides that, from also the other thing that I've learned the hard way from, it's a lot better for you to just roll and reduce all of the weapons or the, the, the drops or whatever, the armor, the weapons, all that stuff. Just reduce right off the bat because... What happens is that they give you back the materials that allows you to recraft that item. So each of the item you got in the said roll, you can get the materials back. So it doesn't really ma uh, matter whether you reduce them or not. The only difference is that, the re or more like the reason why I pref prefer for you guys or advise you guys to reduce is because in the future, like you get all your base items or whatever maybe you can craft some and just hold on to it or whatever you can just hold on to like some low level gear and stuff like that but that doesn't doesn't really matter the reason why i say that is because in the future 
you can get all these extra um these extra skills that you can actually transfer from whatever materials that you gather from the from the world you can put it on the item itself so what happens is that you can actually craft the like say your five star your five star gear like weapons armor whatever with the set extra extra skill embedded into that that said gear because if if you just use gacha and grab it right usually it doesn't really have it doesn't really have that second skill because the second skill adds like say you know the magical attack uh physical attack defenses all, all that all that usual stuff you that you can get all of those as your second skill so it's a lot better for you to reduce so you can just craft and you can get those uh those those skills and embedded into the set item you know you don't really have to bring like the the original stand for and just wear it kind of thing but you can do that in the beginning but it's a lot better if you just reduce first and if you really need it just craft it back so it doesn't really matter if in that in that way it's also better because by crafting or alchemizing is the word for this game uh on your gear in a way is better is because you can also increase the your alchemy level that way because that way you can craft better gear and all that stuff so it's it's okay so honestly at times in the beginning you can you can also just grab it anyway without reducing but as time goes on it's a lot better for you to re reduce anything anyway i've been i've been talking way too much for this one and i've been going way off track so in short just roll for weapons weapons has a much higher priority in this game if you can get a very nice um five star weapon for say like a bow or sword a mace or even a staff if you get any any good ones i suggest you just stick with that because i i can tell you for sure weapons carry very very hard in the beginning of the game characters do not characters can be great but after a while it gets really meh you know so that's really about it i don't think i really have much to say so that's it for my reroll video if you really want more more of this kind of video for Altelier online i'm actually thinking of making more so do let me know what you think and uh, hopefully you find this very wouldn't exactly say a quick video but hopefully you find this helpful and uh yeah that's it so i'll uh, see you guys on the next video or on stream bye bye <laughs>